Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cook a herb curry with potato. These herbs I got from my dad's garden and my mom used to cook this for me all the time. She cleaned it straight from the garden and it used to be my favorite with roti. It pairs very well with roti or puri. So let's start cooking. So these are the ingredients we will be using today to make the herb curry. I've got sunflower cooking oil, three medium onions sliced, two very large tomatoes roughly chopped, some dry chilies, some chili flakes, salt to taste, then I've got nine garlic cloves which I've sliced, then this is the herbs that I've cleaned and washed quite a few times just to get all the dust off and then I'm using one large potato that I've diced up just to bulk up the herbs because this will wilt down and it will be quite a little so it's nice to have something to add on but you don't have to so let's start cooking to medium pan on a high flame I'm going to be adding 200 ml of sunflower cooking oil. I'm going to be adding the onions. Also adding the dried chilies. You could add more or less, depends on your taste. also use spinach to cook this. So I'm going to let this cook for about 5 minutes until the onions is brown. So the onions has now been cooking for 5 minutes. It is cooked, it's lightly brown. Just going to add half a teaspoon of chili flakes and the tomatoes. Just going to give this a mix and add in all of her. Just going to add a little at a time and mix this so it doesn't dry. This herb is called red herbs usually found in the sugar cane fields. I'm just going to add more. I'm just going to add the potato as well. Adding the garlic. We're not going to add the salt at this stage because this is going to wilt down and we will add our salt a bit later. Just going to give this a mix. I'm going to try to. This pairs very well with the rocci, especially on those meat free days. So I've given this a light mix, I'm just going to cover it with the lid and let it cook for 5 minutes and then we'll come back and check in. So our bhaji, that's the herbs also known as bhaji, has been cooking for 5 minutes. So you can see it's all the reds are coming out. Just gonna mix this. We're not gonna add any moisture. There's lots of moisture in the herbs. Just gonna mix that. Lots of moisture in the herbs, so it still has to cook. So we'll check in in another 5 minutes to see what's going on. I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it cook. 
So this has been cooking for five minutes and you can see there's quite a lot of moisture in here from the herbs. We're going to let this cook quite a bit until all the water dries up. And this should take another 10 minutes and it should be cooked. So just going to put the lid back on and let it cook. So all the water is dried up now. Curry is almost cooked, but probably another five minutes. At this stage, I'm going to be adding the salt. Not too much. Just going to give this a mix. So I'm going to let this cook now for five minutes, and then it will be ready to serve. I'm going to put the lid back on. So the bhaji is now cooked. You could add a tablespoon of butter if you like. That's how my mom made it. It made it exactly like she did. So this is a very nutritional meal. Perfect with roti. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please keep sharing. Please subscribe. Until our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.